In this short video, we are going to show you how to delete structural members in the RAM modeler. The first thing you're going to do is select the material that you're going to be working with and the layout you're going to be working on, which can be done through the pullout menus in the RAM modeler toolbar. The next thing you're going to do is select the type of members you're going to be working with. I'm going to be selecting the layout beam icon because I'm going to start deleting some beams in my model. Now you're going to notice that whenever you select one of these layout icons, additional tools will become available to help you with modeling those types of elements and also assigning properties to them. Now each type of element will have this icon available, which is used to delete members. So if I go ahead and delete that member, the program's going to ask me, what do I want to delete? I can delete a single member or a group of members by using the single or fence commands. Let's go ahead and click on the single command. And then I'm going to delete a couple of members in my model. Now if I want to exit out of that command, I could just right click and hit cancel and then I'm out of the modeling mode. Now at this point I can add some additional members or continue with my modeling. Now whenever you're using the delete member command, you should also know that RAM Structural System does want to ensure that all members in the model are supported. So if I went ahead and deleted a member that was supporting other members, I would need to replace it or change some other modeling properties to ensure that all members are still being supported. So say for example, I used this delete command to then delete a girder in my model. Now what we're gonna notice is that the beams that we're framing to that girder are still there. If I were to perform a data check on this model at this point, I'm going to be given some notices that some members are not being supported in the model. Now these are going to be recorded as errors, which means that they're going to be indicated in red in the data check. And that's the kind of thing that does need to be resolved before moving forward. Now if I want to add another member on in, I can go ahead and do that and then that data check error should go away. Now this can be said same thing for layout columns. I still have a delete icon available and so if I delete a member I have some girders that are unsupported and I'd need to resolve that modeling configuration before moving forward. If you found this video helpful please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.